Good evening everyone, Vez here tonight. I am back from two weeks vacation on a camping trip with my family and it was very much needed vacation. It was very cool. We had fun and I've received this guy while I was out and I thought I would show it to you. I know I'm a little late because some people already got their own version because it's been on AliExpress for about a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, uh, maybe three weeks, but I just got mine and look at that beauty. <laughs> I, I like it so much and I'm going to show you why it's different from uh, others or our other beam. Oh, looks like there's a tool inside. Um, yeah, a little uh, wrench tool um, if you need it, otherwise not needed. But yeah, this aluminum beam here uh, is different from the other ones because it was made out of a custom made uh, die that we, I don't know if that's the right English word, but it's a custom made uh, extrusion profile. And uh, I'll, I'll show you that right here. You see that groove in the middle here? It's completely extruded like that. So you can see the channel everywhere. It has a three millimeter thick right here to have more threads for the bolts on the rail to bolt it down. But at the same time, the walls are 1.5 millimeter. It was um, tested on the uh, simulation. It, it's super stiff, it's super light. It weights, let me just test it. Should be around 56 according to my CAD. And it's 56 gram, 56.3. And on the one on the 230, uh, the 330 is gonna be around 70 gram. But you don't have to add any um, nuts inside because it already has threaded holes, one for each um, hole on the rail. And it was uh, extruded out of a 23 millimeter uh, aluminum profile and it was mailed down on the flat surface here on both sides. And this should be super flat to mount the rail, which is a nice thing because it, we're not only relying on the extruded profile, we also machined it to have a, a perfect or close to perfect flatness. It has also um, this little um, adjustment here. So if you're not really up to specs, there's a little uh, play there. And the top here, we left more material on the top to have more contact with the rail. So it sits flush and it has less uh, possible movement. So that's another feature. But the main feature is it, it's 20 millimeter here and on both sides, it's 21 millimeter because on the Wigan tree, on the VZ butts on, on each side, it's 21 millimeter. We did that because um, we were using carbon fiber tubes before and we still use them. Carbon fibers are still a very, very good option. And it's just very hard to have them perfectly flat and perfectly up to 21 millimeter. So we had to make it a bit bigger on the wide entry so that way we could uh, bolt it and then uh, we've seen like 20.5, 20.8, 20.2, 20.1 millimeter. It's, it's hard to keep it very very standard and very uh, precise on each batch so we had to make it bigger and then we add spacers on both ends to make it 21 millimeters so whatever the size you get as a carbon fiber tube you can uh, use it. But now this one is very precise at 21 millimeters so you don't need any more spacers it's just going to clamp it right there on the wide entry aluminum to aluminum it's going to be very stiff it's going to be light and it's going to be good and it's looking very very awesome so there's nothing like that on the market so far we're the first one to have that little um, groove or how do you say that channel in the middle to have more meat for the screws and um, it, it just looks good and i will install that on my vz 235 i have the 330 also on order and i will compare that to the beam i have right now which is a f3d beam which is just a straight out aluminum profile that was milled to remove some material to make it lighter but this is smaller 1.5 millimeter instead of two um, on the thickness and the shape of it is is stronger it should be better so i can't wait to test it and compare input shaper result i'm going to share that with you guys and uh, hopefully that's going to make a bit of improvement how drastic it will be i doubt it will be a drastic improvement but any tiny bit of improvement is still an improvement and we like it like that and just for the look 
it's it's worth installing it's just amazing and for uh for dimensions i create dimensions this is going to be uh very good and more precise so um, i'll install that and share the results to you so i'll put a link down in the description if you want to get yours uh mellow on there it's about 30 bucks not too expensive you can get them anodized black or aluminum like that and it's very shiny very well machined um i don't have anything wrong to say about it except wow i like it <laughs> so um I'm going on another. Uh, sorry, I'm going on another week of vacation next week. But after that, I'm back with you all and back at it, and we're gonna keep pushing things and do more stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.